Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I do neckbands for my t-shirts. I'm going to show you my preferred way to sew the neckband and then I'll show you a couple other ways um, that you could do as well. If you do not have a pattern piece you're working with, you're going to want to measure your neck opening and take about 85% of that plus your seam allowance and that will be the measurement going with the greatest stretch of the fabric. And then you would, for an adult shirt, I like mine, about two inches tall. And for kids shirts, one and a half to one and three quarters inches, depending on what size. So you're going to end up with a long, skinny rectangle like this. And you'll want the longest measurement going with the greatest stretch of the fabric. Okay, so for this video, I cut out my neckband piece, plus a couple extras to show you um, different ways you can sew them together. So you're going to take your neckband piece, fold it right sides together, and we're going to be sewing along this short edge. I prefer to sew it on my sewing machine, that way I can open up the seam allowance when I'm attaching it to the shirt, and that just makes it a little less bulky. So for this first one, the one I'm going to use for my shirt, I'm just going to sew on my sewing machine. Okay, so set that one aside and then if you would like to sew on your serger and you still want it to be a little less bulky there are a couple ways you can do that first one just go ahead and sew the short ends together and then you could fold it in half and go ahead and clip into it but don't go through the stitching that way, when you are getting ready to attach it and are going to fold it wrong sides together, you can press the seams each a different way, the seam allowance, and then fold it. And then that distributes the bulk a little bit better so it's not all on one side. Okay, there's also a method I just learned about recently. I believe it's called the ham hot method. So again, just like you were going to sew the short ends together, Except this time we're going to fold it in half, like that, and then we're going to go ahead and serge this. And then when you open it up, fold it wrong sides together, and it's there and attached, and it's a little bit less bulky than just serging and folding. So those are a couple additional ways you can sew your neckband together. So like I said, I prefer just doing it on my sewing machine, so that's the one I'm going to use for my shirt. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, while it's still folded like this, I'm going to clip this end right here to mark the halfway point. And then if you're a beginner, you're going to want to mark the quarter point of the neckband and the shirt as well, so that it can be stretched evenly. So I'm going to take that little piece I just clipped and match it up with the seam. Lay it flat. Now I'm going to clip these two ends right here and those are going to mark the quarter points. You could also use pins. I prefer just to clip it that way I don't have to worry about my pin falling out when I'm working with it. Alright so that is quartered. Now I'm going to take my shirt. So to mark the center back and the center front of our shirt, we're going to open up the neck and match the shoulder seams together. And then go ahead and clip the center back. Dang, we're folding this in half. Clipping the center front. Now to get our porter, quarter points, we're going to match the center back and the center front. Do the same thing. Match up the raw edges neatly and get the quarter point there. And the same thing on this side. Alright, so now we're ready to attach our neck band. I like to leave my shirt wrong sides out and put my neckband inside the shirt. So I'm going to take my neckband, I'm going to fold it wrong sides together, 
and I take the seam and I mark that up with our center back clipped point. Put a pin in that. Then I'm gonna, keeping wrong sides together, match up the raw edges. I'll go around and find my halfway point. And then I'm gonna clip that to the center front of my shirt. Go ahead and put a pin in that. Alright, now we're gonna find the quarter points of our neckband and shirt. Pin those. You can never have too many pins. Same thing on this side. Find those clipped notches. Okay, now we're gonna go and we're gonna stretch the neckband to match the shirt in between our clipped notches. And you wanna stretch the band, not the shirt. I'm gonna put a pin in between each of those. Okay, we are ready to sew on our neckband. I am going to use my serger. You could also use your sewing machine doing a stretch stitch, whichever you'd prefer. And let me flip this right side out so we can see our neckband. Okay. So you have a nice, neat, even neckband. And I always, sorry, I'm alive, there we go. <laughs> I always top stitch my neckband. You don't have to, but I think it looks um, just neater and more professional when you top stitch it down. So I'm gonna go over to my cover stitch and do that. If you do not have a cover stitch, you could use a long straight stitch on your sewing machine. You could also use a twin needle on your sewing machine if you'd like but I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my cover stitch. So I am going to push the seam allowance down and we're gonna to be top stitching on the body of the shirt. Um, I know some people do part way on the body, part on the neck band. I like to push the seam allowance and do the stitch all the way on the body of the shirt. Alright, so then we have a nice, neat, even neckband. 